Alright guys, welcome to this video. Today, what we're going to be doing is the CompTIA A Plus 1101 hardware quiz. Because I know that there's a lot of beginners out there that they don't really know the ins and outs of computers or printers or anything else that's really um, on the objective list for CompTIA that has to do with hardware. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, first question. What twisted pair cable is commonly associated with telephone wire? So we have for the first option RJ11, second RJ45, third coaxial, or the fourth option which is FC. So you guys could take a second to think about that if you need to and pause the video. Um, the answer for this one though is going to be RJ11 because we know RJ11 it looks like a smaller form factor of RJ45. We know that RJ45 is an 8 pin cable. Uh, that is standard Ethernet cable, but we use RJ11 for telephone connections as well as DSL connections, which is digital subscriber line. So the answer for this one is going to be RJ11. Second question, you've been tasked with identifying a cable. The cable has eight wires with colors in the order of green stripe, orange stripe, blue, blue stripe, orange, brown stripe, brown. What kind of cable do you have? Our options are LC, twisted pair, T568B standard, SC, twisted pair, T568A standard. So the answer for this one is going to be twisted pair T, uh, T568A standard. Because if we remember from our studies, if you have been studying, that the T568A standard always starts with green and then the B standard always starts with orange. That's a really easy way to remember it. Um, you know, you're just gonna have to practice that, just um, remembering what it starts with or what it ends with and um, the first three is usually what you need to remember. All right, question three. One of your family members needs help installing a memory upgrade to their laptop. The documentation says that the laptop uses DDR4 SODIMs. How many pins will be on this specific SODIM memory module? So we have 205, 260, 262, or 204. So if you guys have your answers, that's great. If not, take a little bit more time to figure it out. But the answer for this one is going to be 260. We know that DDR4 SODOMs have 260 pins. Um, and we also know that SODOMs are specifically for laptop form factor module, um, memory modules for laptops. Question four, your friend's MacBook has a Thunderbolt 4 port. What is the maximum throughput of a device plugged into this port? So we have 20 gigabits per second, 5 gigabits per second, 40 gigabits per second, or 20 gigabits per second. Take a second to think about that one. And the answer for this one is going to be 40 gigabits per second because Thunderbolt 4 has a maximum throughput of 40 gigabits per second. All right, here is a true or false question. Uh, this should be a pretty easy one. Um, even if you've just been using computers and haven't started your A-plus studies yet, but this should be a pretty easy one. So true or false, a 32-bit operating system can run 64-bit programs as well. We have false or true, should be in a different order, but oh well. This is going to be false because a 32-bit operating system cannot run 64-bit programs. It's not possible, but a 64-bit operating system can run 32-bit um, programs, so it's going to be false. Now, for this one, we have a picture question. Which cable type is shown here? And for options, we have coaxial, DVI, RCA, or HDMI. Uh, this should be a pretty easy one. If not, I know that there's a little, there's younger people that are watching this video as well. I mean, I'm 23, but I still remember these from when the old PlayStation 2 days. But the answer for this one is going to be RCA. All right, question seven. True or false? 
A hard disk drive performs slower than the average solid state drive. True or false? So the answer for this one, this is going to be true because we know that a hard disk drive uses disks within itself and it reads from the disks. A solid state drive does not and it is much faster reading than a hard disk drive does. This is true. Question eight, your boss needs to share printers on the corporate network with multiple client operating systems, such as Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Which service provides this need accordingly? So we have TCP printing, virtual printing, AirPrint, or Bonjour. So both these bottom ones are going to be, these are Apple proprietary, so we can't use these for all of these. So what we would use, the answer for this one is going to be TCP printing. Question nine. Which type of printer uses toner? Uh, this should be a pretty easy one if you've been studying and if you've studied the printer section for your studies. If not, we're gonna go through it right now, so that's okay. So first question, or actually first option is laser, second inkjet, third fax machine, or fourth thermal. Now, the answer for this one is going to be a laser printer because we know that inkjet uses ink, fax machine, is ink as well and thermal uses heat in a special type of paper so we're gonna use laser and last but not least number 10 which type of printer does not require the replacement of ink or toner this should be a pretty easy one as well we have inkjet laser impact or thermal and the last question that we just went over, because I kind of just gave you guys the answer as well when I explained thermal, but it's going to be thermal because thermal does not use any type of ink or toner and it actually uses heat. So, and thermal refers to, you know, like if you get a receipt at a food place or something or just any place, that's basically thermal printing. If you did not know, now you know. So perfect. Thermal is the question. All right, and that is it for this one, guys. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of that one and you learned some stuff. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, please. It really helps me out to push these videos out and give you guys more content like this one. Again, I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.